Okay, Oak Rovers, this is a video that's going to help you with lesson 1.1.4 in Algebra Connections, which is finding and generalizing patterns. There are two objectives for this lesson. The first objective is to learn to extend a tile pattern, and that could be either with figures that would come before the ones that are given in the problems, or ones that would appear after ones that are given in the problem. Tomorrow when you come to class, you're going to be given a tile pattern and it's probably going to be a little bit more complicated than the one we have here. Here I have figure one and then there's a little bit of a change to figure two and then a little bit more of a change to figure three. Tomorrow your patterns will be a little bit more complicated than this, complicated than this but you're going to be asking yourself the same questions as you ask for this, this pattern. So the first type of question we're going to be able to answer could you draw what comes before figure one? And then you have to think, what would you call the figure that would come before figure one? Also, another question you might have to answer is can you could draw what comes after figure three? What would figure four look like? What would figure five look like? What's, how is this pattern growing generally? Is there such thing as a figure 2.3 or 2.5? Or are the patterns just are the figures only whole numbers, integers? What would year 100 look like? So, a lot of the times we're trying to count how many tiles are in each figure. And if I was to try and draw figure 100, it would take a lot of time, especially on a little bit more complicated tile pattern than the one we have here. So what you want to think about is what would it look like? Where would the tiles be placed? And that sort of thing. Also, how many tiles did figure 100 have? Is there a way I could figure out without drawing all the tiles for that? Or maybe there's a way I could think of it mathematically. Maybe I could come up with a rule for that or an equation to find out how many figures I would have. And then the last question we're going to kind of answer is how many tiles would figure n have? So these are all different types of questions that we're going to answer tomorrow and we're going to be using patterns that are going to be a little bit more complicated than this. So you want to be thinking, how is it growing? How many tiles does it have? And what would, the what would the pattern look like? If you have any questions before tomorrow's lesson, stop in and see me. Otherwise, be ready to work on it as you have a couple patterns to do be besides your Khan Academy video and also your in-class bookwork.